my kids were rolling up on the delivery location here. Got to get up to uh, where they got a scale. And uh, it's up by the office, I guess, up here. Get her all weighed and get this trailer emptied. Maybe I'll try to find me a, another load, but we got to see gonna see what kind of mess I got in the trailer or if there's any damage or anything like that I'm really nervous about this delivery I, I ain't gonna lie I'm scared shitless anywho hope you kids are doing okay and, and stay tuned get you a little little video of the unload process here looks like the scale is right 12 o'clock right there in front of me so I guess they process hay here or ship it overseas, so. In yeah. 600 feet, your destination will be on the left. Oh, there we go. All destination is actually right in front of me. It's taken like 20 minutes for him to lift that trailer. It must be heavy. Look at the tires. Let's see if he can make it up the hill. He's got to move it out of the dock so I can get in there. Reverse the airlines. Let's see if he can get the brakes done. There he goes. Think he'll do a wheelie? Get them front tires off the ground. Man. That's where I'll be sticking it. It's gonna be interesting to see how they, how they get the, the hay off my trailer because they got a big old forklift right there and that ain't gonna fit in my trailer. Alright, so I got it in the hole. And uh, see how long it takes to get this thing unloaded. The key word today on Sesame Street is no damage. What do you guys think? I think they repackage it. I'm looking up at my at my chute. Does it look okay from here? I hope so. Be amazed how much uh, American hay gets uh, exported. All right, so he's got two bales of hay off. I'll show you how he does it. He's got a big old tractor there, or forklift with those blades. And uh, it does scrape the walls, so I'm not too happy about that. But we'll see. Far so good. Don't scrape my ceiling. 
Cause it's more than a sea wind. Bales loaded. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, what is that? Halfway? So far, damage don't look too bad, other than scrapes down the sides. Remember yesterday how I was trying to pet bo bovines? Let's see if I can pet a chicken. Where's the other chicken at? I thought there was two. Maybe he's hiding in the rafters. You gotta watch out for them ninja chickens. While I'm wandering around here, this is the inside of an evergreen container. It makes you wonder why there's tie downs on the ceiling. Epoxy paint, the tie downs on the floor. I bet these things really get abused. There's your parts list. What is that? It tells you what all the paints are. There's the one chicken. Are you threatening me? There's the other chicken. See, he's limping. Poor dude. Nothing worse than having a limp cock. See, it's a chicken butt. Those things must be heavy because look at where wheels are light. got two more left maybe three more altogether it's only taken about 30 minutes to get it unloaded but like I said I'm real nervous about damage and all that we'll just keep watching he's moving pretty quick though seemed like a good dude Uh, one thing I need to get looked at on my trailer is the the squat when you dump the air. It's not landing on the bags. You can see it's bouncing around pretty good. So I need to get that looked at. See how it sinks. It's it's supposed to be no air in that suspension at all. But you see it's it's bouncing. Few people have hit the wall. <laughs> the gold standard in U.S. forage exports. So I guess alfalfa is a forage product. Interesting. All right, so we got it unloaded. Still haven't had a chance to sweep it out or anything. I got to pull up on the scale here to get my empty weight. And then I guess they've got a lot over here where I can sweep out and blow out the trailer. 
So we'll continue our mess. Speaking of messes, I uh, left my window down. <laughs> and there's dust everywhere. Oh, I'm going to be sneezing. All the way home. I haven't decided if I'm going home or not. Or try a book a load. But I got to get this trailer cleaned. And uh, I'll try some camera angles for you kids. Might as well have fun since I'm miserable and didn't make any money. We'll try the uh, the blow cam. That's what I'm going to call it. Alright, we're all scaled out and empty. We just got to go sweep it out, blow it out. There's a location over there where that pile of hay is. Well, it's time to get dirty. I'm going to sweep out the trailer and stuff before I process my paperwork here and let the broker know I'm empty. I can do it through the app, so it's not that big of a deal. The broker I'm dealing with is not very, uh, it doesn't communicate very well, so I'll leave it at that. And let's go get dirty. I need to find a place to actually get the truck washed out and the truck outside of the truck washed too. It's I'm feeling kind of kind of bad about the freight markets and all that stuff right now. And uh, even though I'm not making any money, it's probably it would just it would make me feel better if the truck was clean. Uh, you know, kind of improve the spirits. You know. <laughs> so let's quit uh, lollygagging. So here's a closer look at the mess. Looks like the chute survived. <laughs> I don't even see any marks on it, but if you look way up in there, I think the nose of the chute might have come off the Velcro. We'll take a closer look at the walls and stuff. But it did scrape. And uh, the last delivery I had, they left the, the temp recorder. Sorry about that, Walmart. Let's quit avoiding it and get to cleaning. You know, it's kind of chilly out here. Maybe I should turn up the heat on the friggin' reefer. <laughs> I'm already, I've already lost money on this. Who cares if I burn more diesel? You know, I am a pretty lazy dude. You think I can do it all with a leaf blower? I do have a broom, but that takes effort. Let's start with the leaf blower. Go from there. Alright, welcome to blow cam. Let's see how strong this thing is. I think so. Get her on up in there. Welcome to blow cam. Brought to you by Sterling. Growing up, I had really bad hay fever. And uh, I'm willing to bet. Uh, today's uh, next few days. Talking into the uh, the blow cam. So there's little bracket that holds the nose of the chute, and uh, if you guys can see it, that guy right there. So I'm gonna have to take those bolts off, hammer it out. I think the chute itself is just, uh, it's just velcroed on, so I'm gonna have to do some fixing. The bulkhead itself, I think is okay. Everything is shielded. We'll, uh, we'll fire it up before we hit the road and stuff. Yeah. And if you 
don't think. I think after a good washout, it should be okay. So let's get to blowing. show you guys what we got here all right so I picked up this uh, blower at Walmart it's a heart brushless 4 amp hour 40 volt lithium ion I think I paid 200 bucks for it you can pull the nozzle off here so it's easy to store I just keep it in my side box and uh, with the charger and stuff but I'm, I'm quite impressed. I thought it came with a different nozzle, uh, but I think I might have thrown it away, like a, a flat nozzle for, and I can always melt that and squeeze it. But I'm impressed. I didn't have to sweep. <laughs> I'm still gonna get the trailer washed and, and ask the guys to scrub my walls. I don't want any alfalfa residue. And then I've got to repair the the sheet and uh, pull out any evidence of alfalfa. So I think I'm done here. I just got to process the paperwork and figure out what I'm doing from now. It is Friday. Um, oh, what a mess. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's Friday. I'm in the Sacramento region. I might might just uh, find a place to get the trailer washed and go home. There aren't too many loads and they're not paying enough. So might as well join the protest, right? Hope your kids are doing okay. I want to thank you for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. It keeps me motivated. If you hit the, not uh, the notification bell, you're welcome to ride along with me anytime. I post videos whenever the hell I feel like it. I don't have a schedule. Or anything like that. I'm not trying to grow my channel. It's I'm just uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'll catch you later. So 
what I haul, hey, again, not worth it, not worth it at all, I am covered. things that I do.